Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. Sorry it took so long, but uh, finally I got my bike up to where it needs to be. And I kid you not, uh, we went through a big process to uh, get it up to this point, but we had a team make uh, some custom torque arms because the dropouts we had to make custom. I completely and utterly sacrificed the fact of ever turning this bike into a normal bike again, which means having the dropouts, at least the fill, where the uh, aluminum dropout would be, which is no more. So unfortunately this bike can only be ridden as is or through throttle, or pretty much that's the only case. But fortunately this bike has been sort of permanently converted into a half emoto, half bike if you will. But I am not kidding when I say that these torque arms are technically now the only way for this motor to actually really work before my rear frame here gets completely destroyed. So fortunately we found a fix for it and now the bike is completely rideable. So the reason I'm, re I'm making this at this time of night is because I happen to be out with the scooter group that I was uh, promoting here not too long ago. And I just wanted to emphasize how cool it is to be among a group of guys and gals during a night like this and actually maybe getting a full test run of what it's like to see this thing at max power, including max speed. So stay tuned. All right, let's get moving. So as we get started here, this is probably one of the best ways to find out what the max speed can possibly be. Now I did do some offline testing and I did manage to achieve 70 kilometers on a straight but unfortunately I did have some weight on me which unfortunately kind of holds back a few kilometers so we will see just how powerful we are. Fortunately I have a guy up front who's uh, running a Bartlett Pegasus which I believe tops out about 28 miles per hour or 40 kilometers, 45 kilometers. So uh, yeah, right now we're at 55. Sixty. Yeah, my right of weight is uh, sort of a factor on this. Not too bad. Sixty six right now. So I'm roughly about two twenty five. So it's definitely going to have a factor. Plus I'm carrying a backpack. Overall, I am not disappointed in this. It is very torquey. I'm at full battery power too, but the longer I maintain that speed, the more power I use in the battery. Well there we have it. We sort of uh, stress tested the max speed. Didn't quite reach 70 there because I was up going and also going uphill kind of takes it down. But the fact that I'm achieving 70 and on a good day I could probably do 75 is remarkable on its own. And given the freaking torque that this thing offers is nothing less than incredible. I do not feel bad about this kit whatsoever. But uh, yeah without those torque arms I showed you guys. Uh, Riding this bike with this kit would not be possible. Even with the uh, aluminum dropouts custom made for the dropouts itself, we were shocked that even the power this thing delivered couldn't even hold it. So that's why the that's why the additional torque arms were uh, necessary. But I'm actually finally ha happy to have helped uh, provide the information for you guys. So, but that's just one hub. One hub, 3,000 watts on a 72 volt battery, which I believe is 14 amp hours. So that's not too bad for uh, what I call a sleeper Sauron. But yeah, I'm here with the uh, guys here, so I figured this would be an excellent way to promote what we do. So if you guys are ever interested in joining us, this is what we do, where we go. Now, the locations vary. This is one of the locations we come to. Uh, middle to Mountain being that way, but we call it the Aberdeen Way, which we come from that way. And then we go straight down that way, or we come this way. So, yeah, that's one of the locations. And then we go to Cal Beach. Uh, we go to the Cal Lake Lookout. 
and then we go to Kin Beach and then uh, we're trying to expand I'm suggesting that we try Beachcomber Bay Adventure Bay um, it's a challenging factor to probably try Ellison Park but I'm I'm willing to attempt it one day it's quite far but I want to try it one day and then uh, there's another part which is called Cedar Falls Campground which is up by the BX area that I want to try too but I'm not sure if all of us can make it up there but hopefully some of us can but yeah those are just some of the ideas and locations of the places that we visit so I want to help expand this and maybe get some more people involved you know so uh, yeah that's it for this part so to further elaborate on this video at least on this part this is how complex I had to bait the self torque on so these are made out of steel flat plate we had to actually uh, <laughs> cut a custom shape to match this because you can see that the axle is kind of rotating because it rotates this way. So this way the steel arm prevents it from rotating to the left. And we had to use a, uh, this is actually someone who I have uh, communications with at Motorized Asia for, who recommended a U-lock design. So we created such thing, and now this thing won't budge, which leaves me free to use this e-bike as I see fit. Now the only problem is, unfortunately because of the single sprocket that came with the kit, I had to buy a new one because the bearings are now completely broken off of it, as you can tell. I mean... Yeah, right there. And for me, I'm the type that likes to kind of like coast out with pedaling and then go into throttle and not throttle right off the spot. Even though that this hub is more than capable of handling the power I put behind it. But because I'm not sponsored, if you guys are looking to, you know, companies out there looking to help a fella out, you know. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside. Um, unless I have enough money to replace this, I do not want to take this for granted or do things that will put make this not work anymore, so I'm being really careful, but in a couple of days, I'm aiming to get this uh, part here fixed, so that way I can do my pedaling and go into throttle, because I do like to pedal. But uh, yeah, this one, I don't know, the rigidity of it was not as promised, and unfortunately all the bearings in it are stripped or whatever allows me to pedal forward is no more. So now I feel this thing at its full power, and I recommend anybody who is looking to get a similar thing to invest into a similar idea before you take off with something that has 150 newton meters of torque. Yes, I actually found out the actual terminology for it. So uh, now I know how to uh, properly address it. But yeah, it's 150 newton meters, which is a lot. And I also switched my, uh, swapped my brakes over. So now this is my rear and now this is my front. So if I ever wanted to do a wheelie, I can now hold on to my left brake while keeping myself balanced but I don't know if there's ever a moment that happens where I can do a wheelie where I want to practice it now I got the proper setup for it so I just wanted to kind of elaborate on that part a little bit more so yeah we're just uh, chillaxing here until we get on the road again so I'll see you guys when I'm back on the road all right so now we're on our way back out back in the same way we came uh, we're not going to Aberdeen way this time so yeah, this is more or less what our group is about, having a good time together. There is some competition of who likes to test out their max speed with each other, but I mean, what group doesn't do that? There's our 70. <laughs>
calm down, my chains get a little bit too uh, jump happy here. But as you can see, all the kinds of fun we have in between. <laughs> So as we arrive closer to our destination, we're all likely in the video. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit what we're about, what we do, and uh, this happens about maybe, if not every night, every second or third night, depending on the conditions of the weather and who's able to join us. Alright guys, well I believe this will be the conclusion to the video. I'm just going to do a long speed haul down here, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I could provide for you for entertainment. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in joining up, I will leave all the associated links behind for you guys to check out. And then maybe we'll see one of you guys in our scooter groups or the, the group itself. So until next time, have yourselves a wonderful night, day, wherever you're watching me from. Peace. Shorty.